present Live on Stage, featuring the area's premier acts from downtown Fort Wayne, C2G. And now, here are your hosts, Dean Robinson, Daisy Pelosi. Interviews with Sean Smith, music news from me, Fatima Washington, and now, your hosts, Dean and Daisy Daisy, tonight's Live on Stage may be our best show yet. Dean, you say that every week. And I mean it every week. Now, tonight, we welcome I Wombat, one of the city's hardest rocking bands. Now, these guys play songs about Vikings, bunnies, and assorted bodily functions. Isn't that nice? That's just the way it's got to be. And Fatima Washington gets the job done with music news and concert updates. Oh, Daisy, I love it when you tell that story. And now, Fort Wayne Reader presents, live on stage, I Wombat, performing Fiasco. <laughs> Let's hear you, TV land. Let's hear those hands clapping. We shoot ourselves in the bud. We build another bridge to burn. We give it up before we even start. Feel all this crazy ass go. Your blood still battles blood We're in this rock and roll party in the street It ain't nobody's fault Everyone else is to blame, yeah 
taking it all on yourself. You've been in the mess that we made. 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 This next one's called Cynical. When it comes to love, it never works out anyway. I'm just being cynical when it comes to love, and who is turning to love? Presents live on stage. We'll be right back with more I Wombat. Fort Wayne's home for rock and roll for over 26 years. WCKC, Roanoke, WXKE, Fort Wayne, Rock 104, The Real Rocker. Welcome home, Rock 104. Showcasing the region's hottest talent and best original music, Fort Wayne Reader presents live on stage continues. This segment is brought to you by C2G Ministry. Welcome back to Fort Wayne Reader Presents Live on Stage. Tonight, we're rocking out to the heavy sounds of I Wombat. These guys are pretty heavy, Dean. Maybe too heavy. I think their music may be affecting my internal organs. Daisy, these guys have that effect on me every time I see them working the stage at Legends or Columbia Street West. But don't worry. You'll get used to it, and then you'll love it. I already love it. Excellent. Now let's see some more live jams from I Wombat.
Looks like you're running a little bit hot tonight. I can barely see the road from the heat coming out. Smith with the Fort Wayne Reader coming up an exclusive interview with I Wombat. Stay tuned. Fort Wayne's home for rock and roll for over 26 years. WCKC, Roanoke, WXKE, Fort Wayne, Rock 104, the real rocker. Welcome home, Rock 104. I'm Fatima Washington with a look at some upcoming concerts and events. If you like it loud, there's an all-ages metal show happening on Friday, November 17th. Six area metal bands, including My Unrest, Creep, and Cutthroat Dreams, descend on Fireman's Park on Highway 224, just west of Decatur. It's an all-ages show, and it'll cost you just five bucks to get through the door. For more information, check out www.myspace.com slash myunrestnoise. Recent live on stage guest Left Lane Cruiser plays with the Whale Hounds Saturday, November 18th at the Mid City Grill. This is a great opportunity to see two of the best bands in Fort Wayne and help out a good cause. The concert will include a benefit recital for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. A number of prizes will be given away, including everything from gift certificates to hotel rooms to putt putt passes and so much more. 100% of the proceeds will be donated to the MDA of Northeast Indiana. The show starts at 10 p.m. and admission is free. And don't forget to come see me, Fatima Washington, every Saturday at the Blue Tomato. Next week, live on stage, we bring you Subsurface. That's next week after Saturday Night Live. Showcasing the region's hottest talent and best original music, Fort Wayne Reader Presents Live on Stage continues. This segment is brought to you by Fort Wayne Media Group. I'm joined now by two-fifths of I Wombat. Thanks for being here tonight, guys. Thank, Thank you. And uh, you are? I'm Chad, lead Chad. vocals. Chad, okay, yeah. vocals and? I'm Lou, I play guitar. Fantastic, thanks again for being here tonight. Now, uh, let's see, about three, four, maybe five, I don't know, I took a long nap. Several years ago, Prince played the Sabathon at C Street. Yeah. Put yeah. together by maybe Eric Krakowski, I think, at the yeah. time of Sunday School Suicide. Yeah, I think yeah. it was Eric. And you guys stole the show that night. That was incredible. Oh, wow. Well, there, yeah. there are a lot of great bands playing that night, but that's yeah. nice of you to say. It was yeah. a very fun show. And yeah. so then Prince runs its course? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, pretty much. Uh, the, no, uh, no messy breakups or anything like that. No nasty stories. Actually, it's kind of boring how it just kind of... Just kind of fizzled Pretty out. Pretty much everyone in that band is in I Wombat now, correct? Uh, three fourths. Three of us, yeah. yeah. Three fourths, okay. Three fourths of, yeah. of points. It, I mean, it just kind of ran its course and life kind of got in the way for a couple of us. Okay, so how did you guys reunite, so to speak? How did you guys reform and begin I Wombat? Um, well, actually, Lou. Um, it, it just kind of happened. I mean, we've all been friends forever, um, at least all of us that were in uh, points. And we knew Mark from playing out um, with okay. uh, his previous band, the Lollygaggers. Okay. And these guys knew Ben, and I mean, he was looking for for something just like we all were, and it just kind of gelled. It was like almost Natural instant. Fit. We all just kind of 
hopped in the basement and started banging out songs. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. One of the songs you guys played tonight, Black Bunnies. Yeah. Listen to that on your MySpace page, oh. myspace.com backslash iwombat. Right. And uh, how does a song like that come together? Is that a typical iwombat song? I mean, does someone come up with a riff, a lyric? How does, how does stuff happen it, with That's an early one. It's a pretty typical iwombat song in its, yeah. in its uh, conception, I'd say. Generally, we'll all get together in the basement, throw out a riff, um, expand on it, play around with it for like 10 minutes, nice. uh, try to record it, um, come up with some different parts. And then we try to kind of formulate it, and then Chad comes up with uh, brilliant lyrics. Yes, he does. <laughs> and that's how it works. How many do you have together now? How many songs in the I Wombat can? Oh, about nine or ten. Yeah, with and a bunch more in the hopper. Fantastic. Yeah. Plans for an album in I would hope, right? Oh, yeah, we're working on it right now, actually. Okay. Yeah. Maybe spring of next year, earlier maybe? Hopefully earlier. Yeah, hopefully. hopefully. Yeah. Okay. We've, we've got a bunch of stuff recorded, it's, okay. uh, and then we're kind of mixing it and kind of finding So is it all done in-house, or are you guys going to a studio? Or? Uh, no, it's all done in, in oh, the uh, nice. Wombat layer. Yeah. Nice. Is there a particular person in the band that does it all, or do you guys all have input on that? Uh, Darren, the bass player, is pretty much our... Uh, our uh, recording engineer. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Steve Albini in exactly. the group. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Fantastic. Who are some of your influences? Is Albini an influence at all, or any of his bands, or any of the bands he's worked with, maybe? Oh yeah, you know those guys are. Uh, you know, I like a lot of his stuff, and then I don't know. I, I like a lot of classic rock. You nice. know, I grew up listening to that kind of stuff, sure. and I know uh, the rest of the guys yeah. did too. But it's all over the place. A lot yeah. of stuff you're on 104 and all that. Some of the stuff you hear on 104, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah we, uh, we in our cover in our cover list, we uh, were known to do some Black Sabbath and some David Bowie and stuff like that. Sure. But then uh, you know, as far as newer influences, you know, we like anything. I would say we're influenced anything from like uh, Modest Mouse to Queens of the Stone yeah. Age. It, wow. It's really all over the place. I mean. If you talk to all five of us, all five of us love like different CDs. And it all comes together to make the Iowa Wombat sound. Yeah, works great. Which we love. And thanks again for being on the show tonight, guys. We really appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. All right. Fort Wayne Reader presents Live on Stage. We'll be right back with more Iowa Wombat. Best original music, Fort Wayne Reader presents Live on Stage continues. This segment is brought to you by Fort Wayne Media Group. Next one is uh, called Dust. <laughs> You 
Sean. Thanks, Daisy. I crawled into my cleanest dirty shirt. So, Sean, what's going on in the music scene? Uh, there's a whole lot, but the best way to find out is to tune into Stage Banter. You can go to www.stagebanter.com. Check out the podcast that me and Matt Kelly and Greg Locke do every week for you. Okay. That's an idea. We really appreciate your feedback, so keep those emails coming. Email us at info at fortwainreader.com. Tell us what you want to see on the show. Well, we're almost out of time. So we'll leave you with more live music from iWombat. Thanks for watching Fort Wayne Reader Presents live on stage. We'll see you next week. Bye.
Make the clouds live. 